G'day all, welcome to my first tutorial on uh, CUDA. Yeah, this is one of my favourite topics really, it's very, very interesting. And really powerful too. So, CUDA is GPGPU with NVIDIA graphics cards, and it's short for Compute Unified Device Architecture. Hey doggy. Uh, GPGPU is the process of using a, a graphics card for non-graphics processing, so... <laughs> Good boy. Uh, general purpose computing on a graphics processing unit, pretty much. Uh, for this tutorial series, it's probably going to help if you know a bit of C++. Um, yeah, we're going to sort of skip over the C++ and mostly just talk about CUDA stuff, so I will be using a C++ IDE though, Visual Studio. Uh, if you like to, if you'd like to follow along and use the same software I'm using, um, you probably know me by now. <laughs> um, I use Visual C++ Express 2010, and you can you can use uh, Linux and Eclipse, I think, if you like. You might be able to get the um, same thing for Windows and Eclipse if you're not a fan of Visual Studio. But uh, I'll be using Visual C++ 2010 Express. If you've got Windows 8, uh, you might like to try Visual C++ 2012. Yeah, I think it's going to be mostly the same. You probably can follow along with that. Okay, so CUDA is only available on newer NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, actually from the 8000 series onwards, so the 8000 series, the 9000 series, and then the 200 and above. Yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, they didn't have CUDA on the 7000 and before that. Um, okay, so just a little introduction to a, to a graphics card. Uh, the graphics card is designed to efficiently perform the kinds of calculations required for 3D graphics. Yeah, so they're mostly simple calculations, um, but the thing about it is that there's a lot of them. So if you're playing uh, a video game and it's updating at 60 frames a second and it's sort of, you know, rendering a 3D environment, that's millions upon millions of calculations every single frame, and it doesn't skip a beat. Like, these things absolutely fly. Um, if you've got on-board graphics and you're using a CPU to try and get that 60 frames per second, or even 100 frames per second, um, you'll see just how fast a dedicated graphics card is uh, in comparison. Um, yeah, so as well as there being a lot of these calculations in uh, 3D graphics, uh, the same calculation is applied to many different um, data elements, sort of in a similar way to SIMD. Uh, you've often got to perform exactly the same or, or almost exactly the same calculation on, you know, hundreds of different data items or thousands of different data items. So it might be the same calculation for every pixel on the screen or maybe you're talking about, you know, thousands of vertexes in a 3D world and you've got to perform the same rotation on those vertexes in order to make the scene sort of appear as though it's rotating when you move your um, camera around. Uh, but the GPU is designed to do exactly this, perform a lot of calculations that are all very similar. And it does it extremely quickly. So that's what it's for. And CUDA C is what we're going to be concentrating on. Um, there's many different branches of CUDA and different libraries and things that people have built. You can get um, PyCUDA for um, Python. And I think people have worked on a library in C Sharp, which I'm pretty keen to check out. Um, yeah, but we're going to be using C++ and the traditional CUDA C. Uh, it's just a language for instructing NVIDIA GPUs yeah, to do what you want. Uh, it's quite a low-level language. Uh, I mean, it's related to the C language. Uh, it's actually got almost exactly the same syntax as the C language. Uh, but there is PTX below that. And even further below PTX, there's actually the uh, hardware's assembly language, which NVIDIA does not make public. But um, I'd really like to eventually get into tutorials about PTX. Uh, it's much, much easier than uh, x86 assembly, I tell you that. But um, we'll see how we go. Um, alrighty, so we'll be looking at CUDA C initially as an extension to Visual C++ Express. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It sort of just plugs into your C++ applications and does the really intensive computations that you want on the uh, graphics card while the CPU gets on with doing whatever it is the CPU does. Okay, the CPU does not equal the GPU. Yeah, you probably already knew this, but um, 
programming a GPU is nothing like programming a CPU, even though the code looks similar. So CUDA C looks exactly like normal C code for the CPU. But there's a fundamental difference between the two architectures, and I think, well this is how I would explain it anyway, the CPU is a small collection of very powerful cores, whereas the GPU is a very large collection of only modestly powerful cores. So this computer here that I'm using now has a quad core, and I think they run at 2.6 gigahertz. Whereas the GPU that I've got in here, this is a an NVIDIA GT440, I think. Um, that's actually got 96 cores. <laughs> yeah. So it's not a quad core, it's not even a, you know an oct core or 12 core, it's got 96 cores. Uh, but they only run at some megahertz, like they don't, they don't run at gigahertz like a CPU does. Uh, I can't remember the exact speed of them, but there's, yeah, they're less, less powerful. Uh, still, you get a bunch of them performing calculations and they absolutely fly. Anyway, uh, what you'll want to do is download and install CUDA. So, ah, oh, this is really exciting actually. Just in the, in the last little while, Nvidia has released CUDA 5 and it seems to be, from what I've seen at the moment, I've only played with it for a little bit. I was mostly using, um, you know, CUDA 4.2 and before that. But um, CUDA 5 seems to be easier easier to code in, so that's definitely a good thing. But um, I'll put a link for the CUDA zone in the video description underneath, and you can download that. We're not going to get into um, any coding today, but yeah, if you download this stuff and set up your, your IDE, we can get started next shoot. Um, it used to be that you'd have to download three different uh, things, the CUDA toolkit, the SDK, and the developer drivers, but CUDA 5 seems to have them all packaged together, so that's pretty good news too. Uh, yeah, go to, go to CUDA Zone, download CUDA 5. Alrighty, so that's about all that I wanted to say, really. We'll get on to a kind of uh, hello world, I guess you'd say, in uh, CUDA next shoot. But uh, this is going to be really good, folks, so... Um, Thank you very much for listening, and uh, go and get CUDA 5 and Visual Studio. Alright, see ya.